Welcome back. When someone's heart begins to give out, sometimes doctors might suggest a transplant, but not all people are good transplant candidates. In this month's Prescription Arkansas Report, Don Scott talks with a legendary high school coach about the choices he faced and the decision he made that will affect the rest of his life. I want, I want blue. 79 year old legendary football coach Jimmy Red Parker has experienced some challenges in his life. The former coach of the Citadel in South Carolina, Clemson, Arkansas, AM, just to mention a few, has faced some worthy opponents, but none like the one he faces now. I was a goner. I was a goner. Dr. John Ransom, surgical director of the Baptist Health Transplant Institute, says Coach Parker came to them when he was in the end stages of heart failure and told them his existence was just not worth living. I was at the point where I could not put one foot in front of the other one. The biggest problem was Coach Parker was not a candidate for transplant. Our cutoff is 80 years old, um, but uh, you know, it depends on the condition of an individual and how good a shape they're in otherwise. Coach Parker was in good shape because of his years on the football field working with players, but doctors still felt his best bet was a heart mate. The heart mate provides uh, support to the left side of the heart and actually can com supply complete uh, support for the left side of the heart. And 90% of the times uh, with somebody with end-stage heart failure, that's uh, all they need. It's a lightweight blood pump implanted in the chest just below the heart. Coach Parker wears a controller around his waist. The controller is run on batteries and an alarm goes off in plenty of time to replace the battery. The FDA last year approved this device to be used as a permanent therapy for patients who are not candidates for transplant. Within weeks after receiving his heart mate, Coach Parker was back on the practice field and the sidelines. His one desire was that he could get back coaching football. And he said that he wanted this done if we thought we could provide him with an opportunity to coach football this fall. Since it's such a great part of my life, I, I think to say that it was a kind of a new lease on life because at that at one point, not only did I give up on the fact that I'd be coaching, I gave up on the fact that I'd be living. Coach Parker says it's great to be back with his players. He says he never thought he would feel this good again. Craig? A legendary Arkansas coach.